Good evening, welcome to We Repair. So tonight I'm working on a HP laptop. Um, this belongs to someone at my workplace um, and they basically are finding it extremely slow. I've witnessed it myself. It, you press a button and you wait two minutes, it is extremely slow. That's probably a bit of an understatement, truth be told. Um, so laptop itself, we're just gonna do a straight hard drive replacement, pop an SSD in it. I've already done a fresh install of Windows, it didn't make any difference. Um, so this is currently got a terabyte hard drive in it. It's only used for a bit of basic web browsing and a tiny bit of word processing, so they're really not fussed about hard drive size. So we're gonna swap over to a uh, 120 gig crucial SSD, uh, which is significantly faster read and writes. Um, so they should notice the difference quite quickly. So we'll start by turning this off um, and then we will give it a flip over, remove the screws, pop the middle bit out and uh, go from there. As always, uh, disconnect the battery first, if you can. Battery's gone, just pop that off to one side. So first thing we'll do is we'll take all of our screws out and then we can flip this over and we can remove the keyboard and palm rest. There is a couple of sneaky screws on this one. So there's one under each of the rubber feet. Um, you can just, if you've got strong fingers, just pull them up and unscrew them. So let's just do that. We'll do this one as well, so we don't forget it. And I'm pretty sure on this model, all the screws are exactly the same size, so you can't really mess this up. Um, so let's just quickly go through and undo them. There's only, I don't know, six or seven. There's not very many. Um, just make sure you do get the ones under the battery as well. Otherwise, when we come to actually pry this open, we're gonna be asking for trouble. Make sure there's none under the sticker. So just keep working our way down the laptop. About halfway already, and once that's been two minutes of me yammering as well. So we've got five more to go, and then we're there. Just one. Sorry, six more to go even. I'm not gonna speed this up because I'm being lazy, quite frankly. <laughs> so you can you can do a little bit of YouTube magic and skip me unscrewing a dozen screws. Right, so this is the last one. I'm happy to report they are all the same size, so that should make taking it apart nice and easy. So pop those off to one side, don't need a screwdriver anymore. Uh, so hot CD drive will just pull out. So occasionally on some of the models you'll find screws under here as well, so just bear that in mind. This model you won't. So we'll flip this back over now. What we're going to do, um, there's a couple of clips all the way around here that hold the keyboard and palm rest in place. We are just going to Go start at the front, be gentle when you're prying up because um, there's ribbons and things attached. So straight like this. And we are just gonna work our way around the edge, being careful on the side because obviously we've got ports over here. And you will just hear it unclip. The reality is I should probably be using plastic tools. But I think to be honest with you, this model that this one has actually been opened before because the, there is some damage up to it already. So again, just working all the way around. I'm not putting any pressure on this at all, I'm just being really gentle. Come down to here now. And these ones you almost want to just pry away just so it does come out. I mean, yeah. And under here, let's get to the point where we've got everything all the way out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this laptop back over now. So we'll close the lid. So hopefully you can see just in there now. We should just be able to, there you go, this will just drop away. So a bit of plastic has actually fallen off, but I'm not going to stress too much about that. So what we are interested in is this. While we're in here, I'll talk you through a few other bits though. There's your memory, 
slick and pop another dim in this side if you ever want to upgrade it. Um, and then this would be your connection for your CD drive, which is obviously modular, so you can repair that if you need to as well. So what we are going to do is we're going to pop this open and we're going to uh, replace the hard drive. So if you just give me one second, I will just pause and I will grab the hard drive and then we'll carry on. Right. So I've got my hard drive. Let's just grab this one out. I don't want all the gubbins that goes with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our current hard drive out. Um, there's four screws holding it in. It's not a complicated process. We're just going to undo one, two, three. I thought that was four. No, it's not. It's three in a blob. So that's fine. We'll undo these screws. And then what we're going to do is just carefully lift this up and towards us to disconnect. Two. And three. So we want to be careful of this ribbon cable. You can, if you wish, disconnect your ribbon cable and then you can lift the whole thing out just like that. And then what you do is you will pull this piece off here and we will put that on the new one as well. So that's our SATA connection. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bracket off of either side of the hard drive and we're going to fit it onto our new one. And this will make sure everything's nice and snug. All the connections and things are exactly the same. So I'll just undo all these screws. Again, the screw sizes are all fairly generic for hard drives, so you could put more or less any hard drive in this. Obviously, as long as it's a laptop one, you won't be able to fit a three and a half inch PC hard drive in your laptop unless you've uh, got a bit of a chunky beast. Right, so that's a hard drive. Grab on your SSD. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop these brackets on the side making sure that we mount them up the same way, which just would really help if I pop them the right way around, so like that. And this is the fiddly bit. So we need to pop our screws in and almost try and hold the bracket at the same time, so where it becomes a bit of a fiddle. Once you've got your first one in, it's fine, because then everything firms up nicely. That's one bracket on. And then we will do our other one, which is this way around. Grab our two little screws. Oops. So there's one. There's number two. So that's our bracket fitted back on there, so that will be ready just to hook onto here in a minute just make sure that we have got everything fixed nicely so that will be right and then what we're going to do we're going to pop this bracket back on so making sure the small section lines up with the small side and it will just slide back on just like that and then so we've lifted this clip up we'll slide the cable back in here first because that just makes life a bit easier just like that and then drop that back down just like that. So that's nice and straightforward. One thing I like about this laptop is it's quite modular, so a lot of parts can be easily replaced. So um, if you have problems with the USB on this side, for instance, you can just unclip this cable, take the hard drive out and take it off and pop a new one on. If you've got a problem with the CD drive, CD drive is one screw and it slides out or you can get to this board really easily if there's a problem there. The speakers are lovely and easy to replace. It's all very straightforward. The only thing that's a bit of a pain is the touchpad. Then you have to take a whole motherboard out to get to this under here. Um, but again, it's all doable. Again, if you have problems with your fan, that's nice and accessible as well. Um, so it's, it's not a complicated machine to repair this one. I'll just show you this as well. So when you slide this into the side of your laptop, normally you come in this way. That's how the, the CD drive fixes in. So again, we're not going to do that now because it would it's, it gets in the way of us putting the plastics back on. Right, so that's all fixed in. So I'm going to grab the base of my machine. And I should just pop down. So I'm just going to push down all the way around. 
you should just hear lots of pops and clicks and it should just go in and then we'll flip the machine over and we'll do the same again. So, oh, push them down all the way around. This is where you don't realise how grubby your machine is until you've taken it apart because of all the crumbs and stuff on the, on the screen. <laughs> And when you think you've done, just go around it one more time because you'll probably find that something else is still clicking. So that is our hard drive replacement pretty much done. The only thing left to do is to put back in the not insignificant amount of screws um, to, to finish off. So we've pretty much finished that whole laptop hard drive replacement in under five minutes. Um, the only things I'm gonna do from here that I'm not going to show you on camera um, is to do a fresh install of Windows, uh, which it doesn't take very long. Um, I've got a couple of videos on the subject of how you can build a, an official Windows USB, where you can download it from, that sort of thing. Um, you can get the current version now. A question that I did get asked recently is where you go about getting your license from. Now, technology's moved on a little bit since we were doing in the, the days of yonder, where you would have a license sticker on your machine, you would install Windows and you would type it in. A lot of the time now, it's stored in the BIOS, so you don't actually need a license key, it's a digital license. Uh, so you will just install Windows, and as long as it's not a custom build or something untoward, it should just pick the license up. You can also make sure it's linked to your, your own personal Microsoft account and it will pick up from there as well. So there's a few ways you can do it, but nine times out of 10, it's stored in the BIOS. So where, for instance, when I reinstalled this laptop earlier, uh, Windows 10 Home was automatically activated for me. I didn't have to do any typing in of license keys or any activations, it just took care of it. Um, so I guess my pro tip to you really is, have a go, install Windows. If you find it activates, great move on with your life, you've got a digital license that's stored within the BIOS. If it doesn't, you can pick up a license fairly cheaply. Um, it's available at most sort of fairly major PC vendors. You'll find it online, you can buy it through Amazon. They're not incredibly expensive. But, oh, I have made one mistake here. I've installed the screw for the CD drive too early, so let's just quickly undo that one. Pop this in and then we'll do that one. So that is pretty much it, really. We've replaced the hard drive. Windows still needs reinstalling, but I'm not gonna show you how to do that, as I say. Um, I'll link the video in the description so you can watch it if you want to. Um, it's all, everything's done. We're all buttoned up, hard drive's installed. I'll do wind uh, Windows off camera, and that should be it. Hopefully, it should be a nice, new, speedy laptop. Anyway, if you found the video useful, uh, drop me a like, leave me a comment. I do try and respond to as much as I can. It does take me a little while sometimes, so I apologize if you've been waiting a, a seven or eight days for me to reply. I do try and reply as much as I can and try and give as many sort of tips and advice. But I, the other day, my my skill set's more around PCs. So uh, if you ask me questions about some of the videos, I won't necessarily be able to answer, but I will always do my best for you. Anyway, if you, as I say, if you like the video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.